Hey guys, Steve Olin here. I am in my office. Today I am here to share a sketch that I'm gonna work on with you guys and just wanted to show you what we have going on. I am not a teacher. Uh, don't claim that this is any sort of tutorial, but hopefully there'll be something you see that you could possibly use in your work or that you just enjoy watching the process. I am gonna be working on a sketch of a gorilla today and I'm doing that because I have been drawing some portraits and I am working on a technique of um, drawing hair and trying to practice drawing hair and fur and will help me with that, I think. And I'm basically the whole thing is fur. So uh, it'll be some good practice and I'm gonna share it with you guys. I am gonna work from a grid. I haven't drawn with a grid in decades, um, but I'm gonna try it out. I've been using uh, digital reference lately and I'm gonna show you what I got here. So the lighting is terrible for videography here, um, but I have a picture of a gorilla here that I um, borrowed and checked the uh, user rights and whatnot. Anyway, it's, uh, and then I used a filter to make it black and white. Didn't change the gorilla a whole lot, but changed the greens in the background, so. Uh, anyway, I just sometimes prefer to work from black and white for a pencil sketch. This is in GIMP. Anyway, there are other software programs that you can use. Um, but what I'd like to do is take my digital image and make sure the aspect ratio is correct. And then for this particular one, I went ahead and put a grid on there. I am working with a piece of 9 by 12 sketch paper. Uh, so I gridded this up to where it was even squares across as close as I could get it. And um, it's six squares across and eight squares up. So for a nine by 12 paper, it calculates out to me making an inch and a half squares here on this paper. And just gonna show you a few of the tools I have here to use. A couple of blending stumps. I got some additional smaller ones, a needable eraser here. I do have two um, mono zero erasers. One's a rectangular, one's a, a circle. Um, I'll put links to that in the description for you. I just got some random stuff sitting around. This is a mechanical pencil I found laying around the house that I occasionally use for a fine line. I have some more on order, but they're not coming in. This is actually a carpenter type pencil I got from Lowe's, but it's got a thicker lead. I use it occasionally. Occasionally use a paintbrush for blending if uh, I don't want to use the blending stump. And then I got a nine piece, nine piece, 12 piece pencil set here. Um, Marco Refine pencil set. Um, it ranges from 2H to 8B. First thing I did was make sure that everything was nice and sharp before I start the project. Um, and I have my pencil sharpener handy because uh, they're gonna need to be, the softer leads will need to be resharpened several times. As you can see, I started out with that mechanical pencil. I quickly changed to a regular sketch pencil, but my thought initially was to go uh, square by square and work on laying in a base layer of texture to, with basically thousands of small marks um, and varying the pressure on the pencil to lay in the base layer of uh, texture for the fur and hair. I did not originally start out uh, making any outline sketches. I just went square by square and um, created the uh, outline through the small marks that I was making, accomplishing that base layer of texture with those small marks took several hours, a lot more than I anticipated. Um, can't even really tell you exactly how many hours I have in on this sketch total. When I got to the facial features, you can see here that I did do an outline sketch just to make sure I had the layout right. And then I did that again with the hands when I put the, those in. Um, if you're an artist, you understand uh, how it is to get to the end of a drawing or painting and feel like you're finished. And then you look at it again and you 
see something you want to fix and you say I'm just gonna fix this little bit and then you fix again and fix again so <laughs> I can't tell you for sure how many hours I worked on this sketch um, I did put in finished pictures at the end of this video several times <laughs> because I would add something or work on some details or work on the uh, shading and blending and uh, so I finally got to a point where I stopped after several times but for the hair and the fur, or whichever it is, I did layer marks several times uh, over one another to try to build some depth in those areas of the uh, sketch. And then after looking back at the reference, noticed some spots that were where I left a little bit too light and uh, where there should be white hairs. And so I went back over those as well. Um, but I'm pretty happy with the final product. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I do have, uh, I've seen a couple videos with white jelly roll pens used to add um, some brightest bright highlights on pencil sketches. I have not tried that myself. I have a couple pens that are supposed to be coming in tomorrow. So I will let you know how it works out. If you're interested, leave a comment in the comment section below and I will answer that um, after my pens come in. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, I enjoyed the sketch, the process, although it did take a long time uh, and I had to take a couple breaks. The first uh, seven or eight hours I worked on it, I forgot to eat, so. <laughs>